Yo, what's up, everybody? How's it going? We're playing some Legends of Dota. I have a fun little build. So, we're playing Pudge here, and we are going to rot some people. No, no, it's an infest build. Look, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and say it right away. It's, it's an infest build. The idea of this is we have Spirit Bear. We spawn the Spirit Bear, and then we infest the Spirit Bear. And then we get a bunch of stuff we can do even while the Spirit Bear is infested, which is really cool. Um, notably, Rot. That's the basic one. Right, everybody knows about rot with infest. It just makes it so that we're constantly rotting and um, we can't really take damage because we're inside of the bear, right? So we're invincible. So the bear is just like rotting and it's it's great. So that, that works very well. But recently there have been some new additional things that were made possible for this build because of Bulwark. So Bulwark, if we get Agonims, it will... Um, it will spawn the soldiers, right? Which will deal damage to enemies, which is great. That's very powerful. But most importantly, they are actually just attacking normally. Like they're just normal attacking boys, which means they can trigger poison attack and chilling touch. And that's the plan. That's, that's the plan. And while we're doing that, we also have a bear who is actually a fairly strong ability in his own right. Uh, who is gonna be, yeah, just doing stuff, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let me go ahead and grab this. Thank you very much. We need Agonims first. I mean, Agonims is kind of our most important ability. Oh, like our most important thing. Because it boosts Rot. Bulwark and Poison, uh, not Poison Attack, Chilling Touch, uh, and it enables Poison Attack, right? Because otherwise that ability just is not useful. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's really all I have to say about this build. This build isn't that crazy, but it should be pretty powerful. And I am kind of looking forward to playing it. Thank you very much. Our priority, of course, is going to be to just get experience and money and Money is actually not that important. We mostly just need some experience and we need an Agonims. As long as we get those things, we're fine. So that's what we're trying to do. Anyway, I guess I could summon the bear, but I don't really want to like... I'm I'm thinking that if I summon the bear, I will just die. Because this ogre is way stronger than us. Right? Like, to be very clear, once this ogre is level 6, we are probably dead. This is an incredibly powerful build. And, um, frankly, it's inappropriate for the power level of this match. But that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and see how, how we can deal with it. I guess it's a good time to look at everybody else. Oh, this is kind of funny. I like it. It's just a bunch of attack modifiers with a Burning Barrage. Another Burning Barrage Splinter build. Ah! Using the Flesh Golem Aghanim Shard thing. Problem, Aghanim Shard is not in the game. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That won't work. Uh, then we have... Pagna just also attack modifies, I guess, attack modifier city. And then we've got an Ogre Magi just with Maledict. Yeah, and then this guy, of course. Our team, we have uh, damage output overall, uh, maximum strength, maximum speed, and maximum range? Yeah, seems, seems to be a very range-centric uh, range build. Okay. Oh! Uh, something I wanted to bring up really quick. So, what we're gonna try out this week, it's gonna be on Friday and Saturday probably, is we're gonna just try some new games. And by new games, I mean new world. We're gonna play new world. So I've been thinking about, you know, like what other games could we play, what other things could I stream and make videos of and content about. And we tried Pokemon. And we are working on more Pokemon content. We are working on it. Um, but the problem with Pokemon is I just... I haven't really come up with a way that feels appropriate for kind of like a daily driver, if that makes sense. Right? Like daily content. That's the problem with Pokemon. And I, I don't really know what to do with that. So if any of you have an idea, then please let me know. But I, I don't have one. So I want to try out some other stuff. Um, yeah, we're dead. I want to try out some other stuff, specifically uh, an MMO. That was kind of my goal. I, I was like, you know what, let's try out an MMO. I don't know which one. I don't really want to do World of Warcraft, because World of Warcraft is made by Blizzard and fuck Blizzard. 
<laughs> so there's that. Um, I don't really want to do... I don't really want to do Final Fantasy because it's some weep shit, I don't know. <laughs> no, honestly speaking, uh, I asked people and I've been informed that it's like a very story-centric game. And that's just not really it for me, you know. That's just that that's just not really what I'm looking for. So that eh, doesn't seem right. I was thinking about Guild Wars 2, because I actually really like that game. But then I stopped thinking mostly. Um, Guild Wars 2 is still in consideration. I have no further arguments on that. I actually just really like Guild Wars 2. It's great. Um, but then I realized that New World has its beta test this week. And then it's releasing later in the month. So I thought, you know what? Let's try that. Right? Let's give that a go. Oh, we have bad talents. That's a little disappointing. We don't have to rot talents mostly. That's what I was looking for. Is this Ram? Uh, hey, HQ, Marcelo, HQ, yes. Uh, this, actually, no, never mind, sorry, I lied. It's uh, it's the International. Alright, look at that, we are a bear now. <laughs> Although it's kind of early for that, but I'm realizing that if we just stay as Pudge, I don't think we're gonna be able to do very much. Alright. But yeah, what kind of games are you looking for? Oh, you wanna, wanna go into that right now? Okay, let's go into that right now. So, generally speaking... What I'm looking for kind of needs to f do some things, right? It needs to serve some purposes more so than be a specific game, if that makes sense. So, first of all, it needs to be a game that I can stream and that people want to watch. That's just a requirement, right? Um, which, funnily enough, Dota doesn't really fit that requirement. <laughs> my niche in dota is so small and so incredibly incredibly niche that like funnily enough despite dota being my daily driver right i actually think that if i were to like start this over from scratch we wouldn't ever end up at dota if that at all makes sense anyway so it needs to be something that um it needs to be something that I can stream and then kind of like, you know, that, that people would like to see. Then, it needs to be something that I can play with people. I'm not a big single player type of guy. I don't like playing games on my own that much. And I don't really do it very much, if ever. Right? That's just not something I'm into. It's not that I never do it. But when I do it, it tends to be kind of rare, right? It's just not really my thing. All right, we'll put the Midas here, thank you. Because, uh, yeah. Also, this has a much longer cooldown than I thought it was going to. Uh, then, it needs to require, like, it needs to be... It needs to be something that I can play with people in our community specifically. So, well, for example, like a hyper competitive one versus one game, let's say StarCraft, whatever. Doesn't really matter what it is, just play along. Um, if I were to play StarCraft, for example, then sure, that's, that's a game I play with people, but it's a game that I wouldn't really be able to play with you guys, other than the custom games in StarCraft. And that, eh, I don't know. So, that wouldn't be great either. Um, then I think it would be nice if it's a bit slower paced. I'm not really somebody who plays a ton of super fast paced games. I mean, Dota is kind of slower, right? And if you think about the other games I normally like, Pokemon, for example, is turn based. Um, or I like a lot of card games, as you might imagine, right? They are turn based. I like games where I have a bit of a break when, I, when I'm playing them occasionally. Where I can just, you know, chill and sit and talk and think. And, uh, and chat a little. So, ideally the game meets that criteria, where it's a game that... It's a game that... Uh, Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, I could have used that all along. Hmm. That's true. So, it's a game that moves a little bit slower and is something that gives me a bit of time. Because, uh, you know... I don't know if you figured it out already, but I'm not really big into, into like, first-person shooters or something like that, you know? The fast, most fast-paced game I play is Super Smash Bros. Melee, and that's really an exception. Alright. 
So we have our Aghanims now. Oh, I need to actually come out to activate the Bulwark, right? Yeah. All right, we can wait a little bit. Um, and then finally, and this is this would be like the best case scenario, right? This would be super, super god tier. Uh, it's moddable. If it was moddable, that would be amazing because I like I like moddable games. I think that's super fun. All right, we gotta pop out. So now we can activate Bulwark. We probably want to be pointing this way. Where do we want to be pointing at? This way seems good. Right, but Modable would be like a really nice cherry on top. There we go. And yes, I need to decide which direction it points right now, because otherwise, it like, you can see, it doesn't change with my bear. It's based on... Um, on the position of my hero when I use it. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hello, buddy. Woo. So yeah, uh, I saw some suggestions in chat already. Like, what about Minecraft or Grand Theft Auto? And those are definitely good candidates. Like, I think they would not be bad fits. But you know what also wouldn't be a bad fit? An MMO. MMOs don't fit that last criteria of being moddable, but they fit all of the community-based and the streaming-based criteria very well. And so that kind of makes me think that it's worth something at least trying out. So that's why I want to try out New World. Hey, buddy! Oh, you're the wrong Ogre Magi. You're not the Ogre Magi I was mad about. Attack modifiers work on Bulwark. Yep. <laughs> yep, they do work. <laughs> it's it's just very, very strong. Um, we do need mana. So I'm gonna buy a Bloodstone first. Because you can see we have managed to successfully burn ourselves out of uh, our entire mana pool. But that's okay. No big deal. We'll we'll get some mana. But yeah, look, I'm not really looking for suggestions. I have some stuff that I want to try out. Like, uh, we've been wanting to do Grand Theft Auto roleplay for a while, and I just keep pushing it back for really no reason other than that I am kind of scared of new things. Hello, buddy. Yeah! How's it going, nerd? Oh, shit, it's still doing so much damage. Yeah, uh, we are really powerful right now because people just don't quite have enough power to kill us yet. It That will change. Also, this is actually a really nice opportunity. I wonder how invisibility will work out with this. Because I think my bear is not actually doing the attack. <laughs> yeah, I stay invisible. Oh, that's, that's just silly. Oh, that's just not nice. Oh, the fact that I stay invisible, that's just gross. Yeah, no, I, I don't... I am sorry, that's just... That feels mean. We want to get a Bloodstone, as I already mentioned. Right, and... Minecraft is one of those things. We have always really liked it in concept. I've always thought Minecraft was an absolute bob, even when people... Even when people hated Minecraft, I was still always a mine Like a... Always in favor of it. I always thought it was just super sick, great concept, great execution, everything about it is fantastic. But for some reason, I can't really bring myself to enjoy it that much. I just, it's its a game, it's its really weird. I, I look at Minecraft, I think about Minecraft, and it ticks all of the right boxes in my brain. Like, it ticks everything where I'm like, yes. You know, for me to like a game, that's what I want to see in it. And Minecraft just fits all of the criteria. No! Haha, -ha, nerd. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Right, but Minecraft fits all of the criteria cleanly, easily. And despite that, and I cannot tell you why, I have no goddamn idea. Whenever I play Minecraft, I just don't like it. 
I just, I just don't have a good time. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know why, and I don't know what to do about it. And trust me, it, it annoys me quite a bit. Because it feels like, in theory, it's such a perfect fit for me. And I just, I, I don't know why I don't like playing it. But something about it, I just can't really enjoy it properly. And, uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is not nice. Sorry. I mean, I complained about power level a little bit at the beginning. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I did not expect this to be that strong. <laughs> Dear God. Choice paralysis. Maybe. Uh, I don't... Again, I, I don't have a good answer for you. Yeah, look, I don't even have invis. I just, like, found one. <sighs> All right, we have all of our stuff maxed out now. Um, our Putch is gaining mana. And I think at this stage, we gotta just put some items on the bear here, right? Or do you want to put more stuff on the Putch? We could put a Bash on the Putch. But I feel like we should protect the bear. What are you doing up there? Hey, come back! No! Oh, man. Oh, what if we put an Echo Saber on the Pudge? No, that's not that useful, I think. I don't think that would really do very much. Basher seems like the best, best way to go. Put a bash on the pudge. It's funny because of the infest now giving HP. We don't really. Oh, hey, buddies. Yeah, we. So you see, this is what I mean. We're like, we are actually vulnerable. The bear is just not. Like, even with a lot of HP, the bear can just die. It's not fair. You guys, like, got me really low really quickly. The only reason I'm still stronger than you is because I have nine kills. Once you guys get some money, it'll be go. It'll look very different than this. Oh, can I have Mindbreaker? Thank you. Wait, how do I put this on my hero? Wait, don't take Mindbreaker out of the stash. All right, we'll get here. Ha! Now we silence on hit, <laughs> and now we have a chance. Now we have a chance to bash. <laughs> It would be way better to give the bear some items, but that's okay. We're already pretty strong. <clears throat> oh, yes, true. The bear can have a neutral item, too. We can... Oh, spider bear! Spider bear! <laughs> yes, very good. Uh, this is what I'm here for. Look at my spider bear just running around. How are we looking on mana? Oh, well, we're getting there. Although we did kind of get stuck, which is a little stupid. Alright. Coming in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, I need a bear. Fuck. Turn this off. No! Okay, wait, shit. Bear, give me the root. Give me the root. No! See, this is what I mean. Sure. We are pretty strong. But also, we can just die. <laughs> we have actually... We don't have that much defense. So if they just target us down a little bit, they can definitely get us. Although, this is where we're just going to start putting a lot of items on the bear, and that should help in a while. Right now, we're still dead. But yeah, anyway. 
So we're gonna be playing some new world on Friday and on Saturday, probably. Assuming the game is any fun. I don't know if it is any fun. But it's an MMO, like how shit can it be? Right, like I feel like the MMO formula is pretty well established and everybody knows like how it goes. Like I feel like even a pretty shit MMO is still kind of fun because leveling up is is praise on our most basic human instinct of satisfaction, right? We just like the number to go up. That's it. We just want to see the number go higher. We are not that complicated. Okay. Pugna. Down he goes. Poor little fella. Alright. I feel like people are pretty simple. We, we're happy as long as the number is going up. If the number's going up, we good. Okay. Now, I gotta say, I think this bulwark was good. I mean, this seems like a bad bulwark, right? Like, because we are moving into the top right corner. Chat, what kind of bulwark do we, should we go for? This, I think, is, is the right one. This felt good. Alright, turn on rot. There we go, back in the bear. Back in business. Is there no creeps here? Wow, everything is dead. We need a second bulwark. Dude. Oh my god. We need to build. Okay. <laughs> Next match. <laughs> Next time we play Legends of Dota. We get a one aisle and then four players with bulwark and we create a 360 degree bulwark around the aisle. All right, and then the IO just spins. Oh, we do Pango. I think Pango has a faster turn rate than IO. I think Pango turns faster, so we do 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 Pango. We need the hero with the fastest turn rate. Get Aeon Disc, just so we have that protection. And the Pango gets Yules. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> oh man, that sounds really funny. Spider bear, spider bear. There's fat silences and fat slows. Spider bear, spider bear. Oh my god. Ha! A on disc. Yeah! Yeah! Get stunned. No! Fuck. Alright, invisibility may be a bit much. Would you consider maybe Star Wars, the Old Republic? Elder Scrolls Online or Lord of the Rings Online. Well, so for Star Wars, I have like a negative level of interest for Star Wars. Right? Like, so Star Wars is going to be a no for me. Because like, if it comes to Star Wars, I would literally do... I, I If something isn't Star Wars, that to me is more interesting than if something is Star Wars. Does that make sense? <laughs> I just don't really care much for Star Wars. I'm sorry, guys. It's just not my thing. Get over here! Yeah! Get bashed down. Why don't you guys just kill me? Fun fact, I don't actually have Bulwark. <laughs> you might be like, Bami, what are you talking about? There's obvious a Bulwark there. Yeah! The Pudge has Bulwark. The bear doesn't. <laughs> you can't just kill the bear. <laughs> now, I think there's a little bit of projectile absorption happening, right? Oh, 70%! I did not know it was that high. I thought it was like 20. Okay, that kind of changed it. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, guys. More invisibility. Yes. Hello. Alright, we're pushing. I mean, this worked out pretty nicely then, didn't it? Yeah, it ended up being a lot more powerful than I thought. Apologies for that. I really feel a little hypocritical now. But it's a cool build, though. Isn't it? I don't know, I think it's kind of neat. The fact is just... Infest gives a... How much How much HP does Infest actually give? Like, I honestly don't even know. Twelve hundred. Wow. That's... That's quite a lot, isn't it? That's quite a lot. My favorite thing about this build is that you can be invisible and it still works. Like, you don't actually have to leave invisibility. Ha! Aeon disc. <laughs> oh, it even worked! No! No! Fuck! Fuck! No! 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 I, I went too deep! No! Okay, wait. Uh, oh, wait. Wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Spell Light Steel coming in big time right there. Coming in big time. Well, they killed me. That should be worth quite a lot of gold, right? Well, it doesn't really show it here, but... Pretty sure they get more than that. You try Blastoise and Unite yet? I haven't been able to play any Unite. Because the goddamn Switch hasn't been here for the past two weeks. We started playing Unite and I was like, Hey guys, we're gonna make Unite content. Hey, I'm Baomi. I'm the Pokemon tuber and I make Pokemon Unite content. And then Mickey started realizing that on her pretty lengthy commute, it would be nice to have the Switch. And started taking the switch every day and i'm like i will not complain about this one goddamn word because she's got a commute that's like an hour and i told her she shouldn't take a job that's that far away but she wanted it anyway so i'm like all right but like you know what i i would want to switch as well i'm not gonna complain about that now am i but we also can't do any unite content because we don't have a switch anymore <laughs> we just don't have it i don't have don't have access to the thing So, come here. More invisibility. But yeah, no, I was, I was like super ready to just go like, Pokemon Unite content! And, uh... Well, it wasn't meant to be. All right, I'm coming, everybody. They'll never see it coming. Probably, literally. Now, this thing gives detection, right? Does it? <laughs> yeah, your disc is so good. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just gonna stay invisible. Damn. Damn! It's fine, you can get a second switch and appoint it as a business expense for your job to get tax reductions. Okay, okay, I... Like, so first of all, like you say, business expense. That would 100% be a business expense. Sorry. Like, what else would it be? Like, this is something that people seem to be confused by. They think that you're, like, cheating the system if you, like, tax deduct... If I were to tax deduct video games. I ta tax deduct all my spendings in all video game related shit. Anything I buy on Steam, that's getting tax deducted. Because why wouldn't it? 
It's all irrelevant. That's how it goes. If something is relevant to your business and you're buying it because of it, that's tax deductible. Second thing worth mentioning there, tax deductible does not mean you aren't spending the money. You are still spending the money. You just don't have to pay tax as if you, like, you just have to pay a little less tax on it. Right? Like, <laughs> this seems to be a misunderstanding people have about how tax deductions work. If I tax deduct something, then I still have to spend the money. Like, I still have to buy it. Like, I don't... Like, the government doesn't buy it for me. That doesn't work that way. I mean, it would be nice if it did, but it just it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> the way it actually works is that I take that sum that I've spent and I have to pay that much less in taxes as if I had lear- earned that much less money, right? So if I had earned a thousand bucks and I spend a hundred bucks, now I'm only paying taxes as if I had earned 900 bucks, which can essentially reduce the cost of things kind of but not really not not really not not actually properly anyway i'm not gonna go buy another switch now because mickey's only got one more week of work and then she's going back to school and she doesn't need the switch for that so then we can play some unite stuff or whatever but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's actually a really fun build next time we'll do 360 no scoping aisle all right i'll see you guys around goodbye